So Anderson, what led you to create a DVD? What now? Rita and I give talks at a rehab center, or many rehab centers and other places as well. But there are only a limited number of people that we can reach. Decided to make the DVD because I wanted to reach more people and I wanted to reach them earlier. When people have a devastating injury, the first thing that happens is the body begins to respond to the injury and the brain begins to respond to the body and it says, oh no, life is going to be awful, I'm in a terrible mess. It makes these really negative stories. That's the way the brain defaults. And I wanted to get an opportunity to talk with people early in that process and say, wait, let's think differently. Let's start creating a, a story that will be helpful, that will be beneficial, that will be positive. And so we made this DVD to show six survivors getting on with their lives and their recoveries so people who saw it could begin to think differently. How do you find these six people? Well, the first one was easy. Rita was the obvious first one. Because she and I were teaching together. That was great. And then we found other people, partly through my co-producer, whose name is Paul Shane, who was a very experienced videographer, and partly through the teaching that we were doing at the rehab center where we were teaching. So we would met people. And we wanted to create a video that showed different people with different experiences and different backgrounds. So we chose the six because we thought they had something useful to say that would be different from one another. Addison, I know this DVD has made a tremendous difference to my life. How is this DVD impacting other survivors. We are very happy to tell you, Daniel, that the DVD is lots of places in this world. It's as far as Christchurch, New Zealand. It's in the Philippines. It's in many places around the world. It's Czech used in Canada. In Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. You know, it's all over. It's in Brazil. All over. It's used in Canada to teach nurses. And the rehab center where we often talk uses this DVD for all its family training, all its family training. And when we speak, we so often have family members whom we have never met, who recognize us from the video and come up to us and say from the bottom of their hearts, thank you so much for doing this. It's made such a difference in our lives. So the DVD is used for many things. And it's at Laguna Honda Hospital. Uh, and it's on channel 99. And uh, it's shown uh, like, uh, all, you know, like uh, different parts of the day and night, you know, so if somebody's up at night and they want to watch it, they can watch it. Did, you know? did people you know watch this video and what difference has the video made? Well, you know, a picture tells a, it tells a thousand words, right? Um, and so, you know, I think it adds something um, above and beyond, um, you know, the, um, the stories that, you know, it's, uh, the, the proof is in the movement and the, um, and the grace of, of watching these people, um, you know, going about their lives, um, you know, in a, in a just a extraordinarily, in just meaningful and purposeful way, um, and having taken charge of what they can do for themselves um, is just, uh, you know, just so um, uplifting and and supportive. I would think to anybody dealing with any kind of, of health difficulty, uh, but in particular, you know, somebody who is a stroke survivor. Thank you very much, Sue. Addison, do you have any plan to make another DVD like this? We have a plan. Rita and I have a plan. Rita and I give this talk at rehab centers, and it has a particular series of segments in it, 
and it has a particular purpose to teach hope and to begin to teach people some very basic things about mindfulness and about how to turn towards themselves and work with themselves. We've been doing this for quite a while, and now we're going to film it. We are currently writing a proposal and we're going to film this. And it will be a little longer than the talk because we're going to also give some exercises and demonstrations that people can do. It should be about 75 minutes when we're done and come in five different segments. So stay tuned. We're working on it. We hope to film it later this year. If people want to contribute to this video, how can they do it? The best way to do this is to contact me through my website because then I can tell them how to contribute to the 501c3 corporation that is doing this project so that, that they can treat it as a charitable contribution. And the, again, the easiest thing to do is to contact me through the website, www.healingintopossibility.com. What is the best way to get the video. Can you watch it on your site? Well, the video will be designed to be watched online and you can access it through the site when it's up. We will also make it accessible through Wohala, the thing that we're doing all together, so that people can see it in different ways. And we will have hard DVD copies of it so people can use it in their teaching. And to get one of those, again, contact me through the website, www healingintopossibility.com And isn't it also on YouTube? That will be part of the places that it will be when we have it all put together, but that's not as easy to organize as just doing what we're doing. So let's do it. Let's leave it so that it's going to be through the website to begin with, and then we'll see how it works. Because Colleen said something about wanting to do it differently, so we'll see. Thank you, Alison, for the wonderful work. Thank you, everybody. One well, now, this is a great video for every stroke survivor and the family members to watch. You'll feel empowered, you'll feel hopeful, and I strongly recommend you watch it. It made tremendous difference to me. It will make a big difference to you, too.